I joined the school in September 2010, so that is my fourth year at HEC Paris. And I'm an Associate Professor of Operations Management and Information Technology with a uh, specialization in energy. I'm also the Associate, uh, the co-director of the energy major, the EMBA energy major. Industry is really eager to have participants who can combine formal technical knowledge and skills with uh, proper managerial training and usually you get that type of training uh, only in a degree program. And then I think reasons may change depending on the profile of participants. A participant who has 15 years of experience in a very specific sector of the industry such as refining may broaden his or her perspective to target a top job. So for that you have to understand the industry in its entirety and I think we, we provide that broadening of perspectives. Then we have other participants who have less specific knowledge, who are willing to enter the industry by providing services, complementary services to the major value chain. So although they're not perhaps uh, refinery specialists or oil specialists, they will need that knowledge of the field to be able to provide those services and basically apply for those complementary for those jobs in the provision of complementary assets and services to the industry. Energy is a major driver of every modern economy. Five of the ten largest companies in the world are energy companies. Four of the most profitable ones are energy companies. So there is a huge amount of uh, job creation opportunities in that industry. So that is clearly interesting for us. Second, I think the uh, industry is going through a very dramatic revolution and that revolution has to be led by leaders, by visionaries, by skilled managers, and by tradition, we train such leaders. Giving participants with a strong technical background the formal managerial skills that they need to operate in the energy industry, technical uh, knowledge provided by academic experts, and practical application of that knowledge to real cases where uh, participants are challenged. We have two modules, one in Doha and one in Paris. And in both modules, we try to organize visits to allow participants to actually observe, understand, really touch and feel the complexity of that industry, learn from each other. So we're looking for individuals who are eager to share that knowledge, who have open minds, who are willing to help others exchange their ideas, share their experiences. And to make sure that that happens, uh, we organize a number of ice-breaking events, a number of group-based activities that would facilitate that integration. That means that we have to train our participants not by looking at the past, by looking at what happened 10 or even 5 years ago, but by trying to anticipate what the industry will look like in 10 years, in 20 years, and help them be the leaders that will navigate and guide that transition. Well, that's challenging because it's very rich. Uh, I would say discover. For many of them, it's a discovery of a new field. Uh, learn, certainly acquire technical knowledge. Um, third, apply that knowledge. Fourth, transform the industry. I think use that knowledge to transform the industry. And perhaps fifth, um, in a sustainable manner. 